open OBS Studio, switch scenes, play some music, set your lights just right, and open your streaming dashboard. You're now ready to stream, and all it took was one tap of a key. Elgato Stream Deck has countless actions to improve your stream, editing, productivity, and more. One of the most powerful functions is the multi-action. Let's dive into what a multi-action is and how to use one. A multi-action is a list of actions that get executed in a specific order, top to bottom. When you tap on a key with a multi-action, Stream Deck will process actions in that list in order and with the delays you've configured. So who is a multi-action for? Well, say you're a streamer. When someone subscribes or a special event happens on stream, you tap a key. Your multi-action changes scenes, plays music, switches camera angles, changes your lights, switches effect filters, maybe even switches the RGB pattern on your computer case or your room to match what is happening. And then after a set time, everything switches back to normal. This can be an audio-visual event, controlled with one tap of a key. And to get ready for your stream, you have a multi-action, which opens OBS Studio, snaps it to a monitor, switches to your starting stream scene, turns on your key lights, and begins playing your intro music. All you have to do is hit Start Stream. To create a multi-action, you can either right-click on a key and choose Create Multi-Action, or find the multi-action category in the Actions list on the right, and drag it on to an open key. Do note that multi-actions are not supported on Stream Deck Plus dials, but can be used on Stream Deck Pedal. Once you create a multi-action, a new special menu will appear. You can also enter this menu for a multi-action by double-clicking on the action on the key, or by clicking on the arrow in the Property Inspector panel when the multi-action is selected. To add actions to your multi-action, look through the Actions list on the right and drag them into the list. Actions at the top are triggered first. If you need to rearrange your list, all you need to do is drag the items up and down. Please note that not every action can be used in a multi-action. It is up to the plugin developer to enable multi-action functionality for a particular action in their plugin. Each action in the list can be named, giving you flexibility for organizing and proper labeling. If you are using a multi-action to turn a device or feature on or off, we would suggest using a set on and set off method using multi-action switches. Toggle lights on or off will use the existing on or off state. More on this later in the video. When you tap on a multi-action, you will see a check mark to see that it completed. We call this the progress overlay. For much longer multi-actions, you will see that it may slowly fill in to show how far along the multi-action is. If you prefer to disable this overlay, you can go into Stream Deck Settings, General tab, and uncheck Show Progress Overlay. This option is available in Stream Deck 6.1 and later. If you need to retime your multi-action or something is happening too soon, you can add in a delay action into your list. The delay action is specific to the multi-action and can be found in its category on the actions list on the right side. Simply drag it into your list. Once added, it will default to 1000 milliseconds or one second. You can then change the delay duration in the property inspector. If you need finer control over how fast or how slow actions behave in your multi-action, we also have a setting called Custom Action Delays. This can be accessed in the Property Inspector panel. These two options are a bit more advanced and are more about improving behavior with certain plugins. First is the time spent pressing the key. When you tap on your mouse to click or tap on the keyboard, there is a non-zero amount of time spent with the key pressed down. This setting is about controlling that time. It is 100 milliseconds or one tenth of a second by default. The second setting is the delay between the current action you're adjusting and the one that follows. This is also 100 milliseconds or one tenth of a second by default. We will have an article linked below which goes over these options in some more detail. Now that you have the basics of multi-actions, we'll look at the multi-action switch. Multi-action switch is essentially two multi-actions in one. Press it once, it runs one multi-action. Press it again, and it runs the other. This is very handy for anything with functions that sit in one of two states, like lights. Turn on a set of lights, then turn them off. Or switching between two cameras inside of OBS Studio. One multi-action will hide camera A and show camera B. 
the second multi-action will hide camera B and show camera A. Switch cameras without needing to mess with switching scenes. One of the neat alternative functions with multi-actions is one we call random action. This uses the same multi-action system, however, instead of processing a list of actions in order from top to bottom, every time you tap on this key, a single action in a random position in the list will be executed. A perfect use for this is randomizing sound effects. Maybe you just want to have some chaos in your voice chat or your stream. Or maybe you're a DM for a D&D group and want to have sound effects playing, but don't want it to be the same effect every time. Set up a random action with variations of the same sound added as a soundboard, and you'll hear something different every time. So, maybe you work from home. To start the day, you have a multi-action to open Slack and Teams, and move those over to your side monitor. Then it opens up Spotify, and begins playing a lo-fi playlist to get you started for the day. After you're finished with your day, tap on a second multi-action to close all of your work apps, Shut off your music and put your system to sleep. Time to unwind. We hope this walkthrough of multi-actions inside of Stream Deck gives you the confidence you need to jump into using multi-actions for your work or play. If you are already using multi-actions in your setup, let us know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us on Elgato Workshop to learn how to get the most out of your Stream Deck and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.